Hello, I'm Michael Payne. I was appointed nearly 50 years ago to design the New Zealand restaurant at Expo 70. Expo covers 815 acres. Today isn't too crowded, but one day it was known to have one quarter of the population of New Zealand inside its gates. I had a friend uh, that I'd worked with he said New Zealand Meat Producers Board were discussing the design of a restaurant for Expo 70. They were really keen to get into the Japanese market and this seemed like a great opportunity. He said they badly need an architect. Get yourself down to Wellington for this meeting. They said we'd like to build a geyser room. A geyser room is one of the most popular of the 200 restaurants at Expo. Up through the centre of the kitchen, right past the stoves, run the polythene pipes for the ingenious geyser for the main restaurant upstairs. Bob Woodward's conceived of the idea that we have clear plastic flexible tube, that it would come up like a fountain from the middle of the room, spread out over the ceiling, sloping ceiling, and drop down at the edges and disappear. And it's lighting that moves and gives you this amazing sense of being somewhere that nobody could imagine. This required quite elaborate arrangement in the basement where the water was pumped from a reservoir and then air was injected into the water in a way that gave you bubbles every few metres. I was given extraordinary influence over everything that people would see or touch or feel. I wanted them to feel encompassed, to feel that they'd come to somewhere which was quite different. And I think not many architects have a, have a chance to have influence like that, even the design of the waitresses' uniforms. People were fairly well packed in and we had um, a table arrangement which was quite close in places and people were sitting alongside each other. So we need to be able to get people in and out of those chairs without disrupting their neighbours. So it had to be really compact and that set up the swivel idea. They weren't cheap. There wasn't another restaurant in New Zealand that was making a, a leather upholstered holstered chair and I must say that I'm that that chair has had 49 years of use and it's still serviceable and it looks not very different from the ones at uh, Expo in 1970 so I'm I'm proud of it and I'm also kind of amazed well it's a huge opportunity to be inventive and thinking about things in a different imaginative way that'll catch people's attention and give them enjoyment. Something more than just the design, it's what the design is going to do to people's, the way they feel and think and experience. Yeah, it's an amazing opportunity and I'm, I'm grateful for what I've had.